What do you want? Man can't work five minutes and not be interrupted. Man needs worries like a boat needs ballast. The sail's straight and even. Who are there, Witcher? You looking for work by any chance? Listen, Witcher. Got us some weird diablin. You know, drowners. Real problem. The kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Let me guess. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish, and attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. They attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded, guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. There's Tove, too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry, none other comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet him, well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. I'll take the job. Dealt with drowners many times. It'll soon be over. Got my word on that. You're looking for work by any chance? No such out. thing as bad ships or bad oh. weather. Only work we've not to talk about till you kill those sea people. Rurik, right? Heard you were on a boat the drowners attacked. Aye, I was. With Ulf, my cousin, gathering our crab traps off the Kjerrig cliffs. Ulf was pulling up a line, having a hard time of it. You know, grand, I thought. Cage has got to be full, it'll be a good haul. Then. Something tugged back and down. Weren't a blink and Ulf was underwater. Called after him, once, twice, thrice. Then the water went red with blood. I smelled something horrid. Rotten, but worse. And the Moir Diablin flipped the boat. Don't even know how I made it ashore. Must have had Freyr watching over me. That, or the monsters had eaten their fill. Thanks for the story. Are you Tove? I was told drowners killed your husband. Then you were told right. First the sea took my son, and now my man. I'm the only one left. Kivilla, our son, he went out fishing and didn't come back. My man would walk out to the Kierag Cliffs every day to watch for his boat. I told him he cannot bring him back to life, and that he could die himself. We'd heard about drowners, but he couldn't sit still. Donned his old coat and went. One night, he didn't come home. I fetched me brother, grabbed a torch, and we went looking for him. The Muera Diablin, sea fiends. They clawed him so bad, I only knew him by his coat. Small comfort, I know, but the drowner problem will soon end. I promise you that. Farewell. Stench again. Slime and rotting flesh. Human bones. Unbroken, but the marrow has been sucked out. Need a long, thin tongue for that. untouched. Hidden for later. Drowners just don't do that. Bruises on his neck. Crushed larynx. Strangled. Bit 
sets of boats, torn sails, lines, sailing decor you could call it. That stench, the marks on the bodies, this must be a water hag's lair. Got a keen sense of smell. She won't come back while I'm here, unless she coexists with drowners. Maybe I could make an extract from their glands cover up my scent. Job's done. Here's the proof. Now why would I want to see... What the devil is that? Water hag. An old, clever one. She was the danger. Seen a lot of ugly critters in me life. Moray's, lampreys, blobfish. But never nothing like this. Your award. Well earned, Witcher. Well earned. Thanks. So long. Sorry to trouble you, but I really have no choice. What is it? Our ship was wrecked against the rocky shore June and the last storm. I've lost everything. How am I supposed to help? I haven't even got the coin for the journey home, and with each day's delay I draw closer to bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. Might have guessed you'd come around to coin. So, need a loan? Or is it just alms you're after? I shall pay you back every last copper, I swear it. You need only call on me at my address in Novigrad. Fine, I'll help you. I visit Novigrad often enough. Might stop by, see how business is going. Thank you. you find me in the port district. My name is Johan Bonner. See you later, then. You don't grow with any younger, Grimus. You must pass your knowledge on. I'm no trout that must get to its spawning ground. I shall do what I please, now leave me be. Yes? What do you seek? Kind old geezer I just saw you talking to. Who was he? One of our circle? Grimus? An exceptional alchemist, but a stubborn main ass. Well, been around sorceress is my share. Long enough to know that with great enlightenment comes even greater arrogance. But sorceress is welcome apprentices, am I right? Not grimaced. So many formulae in that head. So many methods of ingesting and absorbing lethal toxins. But he'd rather take them to the grave than share. Why is he averse to having an apprentice? How should I know? Perhaps because he's a stubborn, mean ass. Want to talk to you. But I do not wish to speak. Leave. You distress me. You seem a nice enough guy. Well, I'm not. I plan never to be. I became a druid to avoid others. To not have to deal with them. Not to smile when I don't wish to. To feign compassion when someone's travails matter less to me than a pair of birch cones. So I shall be straight. Get out of my sight. Before something, I know not what, deprives you of yours. I want you to share your knowledge. Teach me alchemy. You? <laughs> my apprentice? <laughs> That's rich. While you're at it, why did you ask Uderic if he'll share Spickerog with you? I'm serious. <laughs> Is that so? Don't make me laugh. I've devoted my life to alchemy. 
Son, let her eh? Spent countless days and nights with nothing but alembics, choking on fumes, scorching my skin with acids? If you think I'll simply betray to you what I learned through years of sacrifice and toil, then you're mistaken. Deeply. Can I convince you somehow? Oh, gods. You're as bothersome as a gadfly before a storm. Hmm. Though I am preparing to perform a rather tricky ritual. So I could use some help. Even yours. I require three favors. Do them for me, and I shall accept you as my apprentice. Well, well, there's a way after all. Get off your high horse and listen. First, you must bring me a pimpernel from the Muskogan forest. Second, I need a bottle of spirit from the old distillery on Hale Hill. Finally, convince Fridjof to help me perform the rite. He's a druid like I am. You'll find him near Blandara. I believe he's there on a matter of some import. So, what will it be? This Fritjof, who is he? A Vader maker, huh? You don't know the word, do you? And I pledge to make you my apprentice. A Vader maker is a druid who can manipulate the weather. Stop a storm, cause hail, make lightning turn your enemy to ash. I advise to address him with the utmost respect, if you value your life. Spirit, why do you need that? As you must know, potential apprentice. Alcohol is the base for all potions. Superior alcohol means a higher quality potion. The spirit has no equal. Its strength, its flavor. Unfortunately, the distillery atop Hale Hill has fallen into disrepair. We've lacked a source ever since. But you'll manage somehow, won't you? You're so confident. Hmm, the Pimpernel. Far as I know, it's got no use in alchemy apart from... Would you teach your grandmother to suck eggs? It's not any Pimpernel, but the one that grows in the Moscowden forest. And if the rumors are true, a creature Jealously guards all the herbs growing there. Forest creature jealously guarding some secrets? Sounds familiar. All right, I'll do it. But this ritual you want to perform, what's that about? If ye wish to be my apprentice, you must stop asking questions. I decide what to tell you and when to do it. Now go, chop chop, before I change my mind. Pollen on the leaf still. Someone picked the bloom recently. Ah, uh, another seeker of Pimpernel. Another? Grenis has sent countless young druids into the forest. They emerge drained, with a blank stare, and with no flower. And they never speak of what happened. I've asked Grimace to stop the folly. He looked at me and laughed. But the fun's over. One of our novices, Ramond, has failed to return. I've come to find him, alive or dead. What do you know about this forest? Not much. Funny, isn't it? A druid should know every tree, every bush. That even we know not to venture to some parts of the isle. We can subdue animals, but not monsters. And the word is, one has made its lair here. A lesion? An axibrim? Sadly, I don't know. As I said, those who have entered do not speak of who or what they saw. Listen, you're looking for a druid, I'm looking for a flower. Let's go in together. Why not? I could use the help of a tracker. Lead the way. Flower. No petals. Hoofprints, but of bipeds.
Someone buried him. Not skillfully, but with great care. Lots of scratches. None look lethal, though. Body's dried out as if it was drained. I knew him. It's Yara the White of Care Trolda. He died far from home. Footprints. Some fresh, others faded. All leading in the same direction. Oh, no, no. Oh, stop. Please. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, this is great. No, no. Stop. Please. Stop it, that tickles. <laughs> Two can play this game, you horny goat woman. Unhand him, hellish creature. Ramond, step away from her. Ah, calm down. I've not been harmed. I came here. You don't know what you're saying. She's cast a spell on you. We saw what happens to those who land in this beast's embrace. We saw Yara's body. Then you saw I buried his body as custom dictates. I did not seek his death. He... He was very old. His heart was weak. I warned him it could end that way, but he kept returning. I see through your lies. Your wretched charm won't work on me. I shall kill you here and now, monster. I don't see any reason to kill her. She's a monster, sure, but a sentient one, and basically harmless. No such thing. Just as there's no dry water, no coal fire. But if you'll not help, very well. I shall tend to her myself. I'd advise against it. I will return. With one who does not carry a sword for show. Why did you take my side? I'm afraid you'll be sorely disappointed. I don't generally couple with witches. Especially not out of gratitude. Can't think of another way you can repay me. I'm looking for Pimpernel. You know this forest. Maybe you could help me. I shall take you myself. And you, Ramund, go pick some more violets. Just the indigo ones this time. Uh, indigo? You mean blue? No. Indigo is indigo. <sighs> Men. Pretty, don't you think? Bellflowers, violets, king cups, pimpernels. I must pick some edelweiss. But no more. I've put a lot of work into making this cavern cozy. Once 
Come on now. I don't like this. They shouldn't be risking your life for us. This meat's got worms, do as you say. You Fritjof? That's right. And what do they call you, Witcher? Me. Drifter, stranger, mutant. Sometimes even by my name. Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> a man with a sense of humor. I like that. Well, what can I do for you, Geralt of Rivia? Grammist wanted me to summon you. Need you to help him perform a ritual. A ritual? Will this one stop him for being a mean old goat? I would go see him. For old time's sake, but I have more important matters on my mind. Look about you. The ground. See how dry it is. It's not rained for weeks. The grass and pastures has withered. Sheep are starving. I must bring rain, but fear them. Wait just a moment. Perhaps you could help me. How? I'm a man of many talents, but manipulating the weather is not one of them. I have in mind a different skill involving your sword. You see, Mother Nature dislikes it when you take something from her by force. She will defend herself. So fiercely, in fact, that I could use a defender myself. What do you say? Sure, I'll help. Provided you go see Gremist afterwards. Agreed. Now follow me. Time for a little storm. Sacrifice. Should we burn folk at the stake as they do on the continent? Better a sacrifice of goats and sheep, I think. Skooka, Svarm, Fatna, Hala! Ah, it's starting. Managed a storm that fine for ages. Did you see the drops? The size of eggs. A little busy tending to the foglets. They weren't small either. Ah, yes. Unfortunately, they always emerge. But perhaps that's for the best. For the best? Why? If manipulating the weather carried no risks, it'd not give me peace. Make it rain, make the sun shine. Some would want storms, others a sea calm as a pond frozen over. This way, folk petition me only when their need is great, not because they've had a whim. I get it. There are times I wish I didn't have to chase this necker or that drowner. Will you go see Gremis now? With pleasure. After a storm of those proportions, I shall gladly have her to... help him with his ritual. Till then. Did everything you asked. Phenomenal, my boy! So, Fritjof shall we begin? The sooner the better. We've a long night ahead of us. The ritual is only for members of the inner circle. Thus, my dear apprentice, you must wait outside. Under no circumstances must you enter. We shall begin your tutelage come morn. As you wish, master. Ha! We'll make someone out of you yet, Witcher! <laughs> now off you get shoot. Witcher. Oi! Step out! 
Heard you calling. Aye, because I was. I thank Mother Nature she didn't skimp on my voice as she did with some others I know. See, one of us, a gill, went mute all of a sudden. No spell or potion helps him. But it is said strong emotions and experiences can restore speech. So I thought perhaps you might. I'll pay you, of course. It give you an excellent Gwent card. Suppose I could try, but I wouldn't even know where to start. You want me to scare him? Aye, good, good. That should do it. Scare, irritate, whatever you wish, provided you do him no harm. You can usually find a gill near the hallowed oak. Oh man, he's probably praying in his heart for a cure. Silent druid. Oh, yeah. Dumb question. They ever try to cure you some other way? Give you potions or herbs? Hm, not just mute. Seems he's deaf, too. When do you lose your voice? Can you show me? Hold up some fingers? Oh, charming man. Hmm. Doesn't look like we'll figure much out talking. So long. Talking won't get me anywhere. Maybe he'll say something if I put out his fire. It's true. No lie in the legend. Tin pots. Stand to make a lot of noise. Maybe give him a smack once he's asleep. nest. Known to have therapeutic uses. In shock therapy, for instance. Break my vow. Happy? Oh, sorry. Someone tricked me, I thought. Boo hoo hoo! My deepest sympathies! Now get out of my sight, you imbecile! Screaming clear over here. Grand work, Witcher. Your reward as promised. How about that? Beard down to his waist and a toddler's sense of humor. Good luck to you. <laughs> 